As you all may wonder, and you guys are probably pondering, how are you going to afford this upcoming winter? Why are we all headed towards the poorhouse? All of us. The government just raised interest rates again. Yes, your savings account is making more money. But by the time that the government is done doing what they are about to do, you won't have any money left in your savings account. You will be in the poorhouse. And we're going to cover some of the things that are going on right now. We're going to be talking about the Northeast. I'm going to show you exactly what the fuel oil prices are and how much the updated numbers are on what they are predicting these prices to go up to at this point in time. And that just came out a couple of weeks ago. We're also going to be taking a look at how many people are homeless in this country and how this is going to affect them. We're also going to take a look at the poverty level and how that has gone up and down, has changed over the last 20 years. You see, folks, there's a lot of stuff that's going on out here. And the reason that I keep telling you, you have to get prepared. You have to top off your preps. You have to start prepping. You have to make sure that you are doing everything you can is because of some of the things I'm going to show you here in just a few minutes. The time is now. Winter is fast approaching millions of Americans here in this country. And a lot of this that we're going to talk about today could also affect people across the globe in certain parts of the world. UK is going through the same thing. So we all need to really pay attention to the following information. And hopefully it will make you really understand the importance of why I'm doing these videos and bringing you this information because I know a lot of people are in denial and a lot of people need to wake up because there's not going to be too many roses left to smell very soon in the stores in your neighborhood and here's why. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. How much are energy prices going to rise this upcoming winter? That's the biggest question. A couple weeks ago, well, they put out a new best estimate for right now. U.S. consumers will face significantly higher heating costs due to a colder than average winter and high energy prices, according to the Energy Information Administration. Households that heat with oil or gas will experience a cost increase of 27 to 28 percent compared to last year. That's a lot of money, folks, 27 to 28 percent. And we know as the winter goes on, it's only going to go higher. Let's look at some of the fuel prices right now in the Northeast and what we're talking about. We're going to start off in Vermont. All right. In Vermont. Right now, they are paying $5.68 per gallon. This is of the end of October, as you can see right here, October 31st. You know, back on October 3rd, they paid $4.54 a gallon. A year ago, they were paying $3.24 a gallon. Amazing, isn't it? All right, let's move over to New Hampshire. Five seventy-five dollars a gallon as of October 31st for fuel oil. On the third, $4.61. Back on January 3rd, $3.32. Maine, $5.54 a gallon right now. October 3rd, $4.35 a gallon. January 3rd, $3.00. 14 cents a gallon. We can see how this is all going up and down and what's taking place. Massachusetts. They're paying $5.84 a gallon right now. October 3rd, it was $4.56 a gallon. Go back to January 3rd, $3.37 a gallon. The Great State of New York. 
Now everything's more expensive in New York, and we know that. Right now they're paying $5.99 a gallon on average for fuel oil. October 3rd, they were paying $4.92 a gallon. You go back to January 3rd, it was $3.62 a gallon. Now, I do have a, my sister-in-law does live on Long Island, and she just recently filled her fuel tank at a whopping $6.21 a gallon. Most places that you do buy your fuel oil and stuff from have a 100-gallon minimum, so that's $621. And a lot of places, in the Northeast especially, why we're talking about this is because they use their heating oil for a lot of different products, all right? And I may also do their hot water uh, besides heat their home and all this different type of stuff. So they're paying this fuel price year round to have hot water. It's going to get very expensive. On average, right now, the average price, going price as of October 31st, was $5.83 a gallon across the board. U.S. residents... Heating oil prices is at a current level of $5.83, up from $5.70 last week, and up from $3.40 one year ago. This is a change of 2.33% from last week and 71.68% from one year ago. Something wrong with this picture, folks. There's a lot of people are going to be suffering. Poverty line in the United States from 1990 to 2021. As you can see, as they started keeping track, it went, went up and then it really dipped down. We are lowest at in the year 2000 was 6,400 families. And then it started to slowly rise. And then we had the whole collapse in 2008 that lasted through 2012, as you can see by this chart. 2014, it uh, peaked almost again, and then it started coming down, went way down. And 2019, we were down to 6,554 families that were below the poverty line. And as you can see, this number has drastically started to come back up, and I think you're going to see it shoot way up in this coming year once they do the figures and stuff for this graph for 2022 once this year is over. And you ask yourself, how many people are homeless in this country? And the numbers are overwhelming, as you can see here on the computer screen. The number of homeless in the U.S. is estimated at 552,830, with around half a million individuals living in the state of homeless. Things aren't looking good for them. It's a very sad shape that we are in at this point in time. And then we have to really think about how many people are on Social Security. And this way here, you know, they can have money and be able to try to survive. But but you but look at these figures here, you know, there's 65 million Americans receive Social Security benefit. Most of them are getting roughly around $1,657. So let's just say every two months you have to put 100 gallons into your fuel oil. Well, no, there's, say... 700 bucks right there. Let's say your rent is over $1,000. All right. Now I'm sure you have medical bills. More than likely you have credit card bills. All of a sudden now we are in the red because uh, we just spent more money than what we're bringing in. And what is being done about that? What is really taking place? I do know there's some things that are going to be going on. And there's things that have happened. And we're going to talk about those next. So what are our choices at? We got high fuel prices, high gas prices, inflation is out of control, food prices are out of control, rent's out of control. Everything's out of control. Your savings accounts are dwindling. Your credit cards are maxed out. What is your alternative? You really have to tighten your belt And you have to make sure that what you are spending, you are spending wisely. 
I would highly suggest maybe setting up separate accounts in your bank, in your credit union, however you can do it, that possibly you can put money into on a weekly basis to try to help offset some of these high costs, especially when it comes to your heating oil or anything that you do heat with, electricity, propane, natural gas, any of the above, and put a little bit of money out of each paycheck in there so that when you do have to get that fuel, it's not going to be a culture shock and you're going to try to come up with six, seven hundred bucks in one shot. Now, supposedly, the government did release billions of dollars to help people any time of need this upcoming winter with their fuel costs, their energy costs for this winter to heat their homes. Now, was this a ploy right before the election? More than likely. But you know what? They're finally going to spend a little money on the American people. The question is, will the people that need it get it? I don't have a lot of high hopes in that regards. But we can only hope and pray that the people that need that money to help them out will finally get it. You see, this country, we're so into sending money overseas to all these other countries to help save the world. At some point, we have to save ourselves first and then worry about the rest later. Because if you haven't noticed, we're in debt up to our ears. The government is on the brink of bankrupting itself. And it's going to take all of us with it. And that is probably all part of their plan. One will only know, but all we can do is get prepared. However we can, just spend your money wisely. Think about your purchases. Think about what you are spending. And make sure that it's going to benefit you in the long run. Now is not the time for new TVs. Now is not the time for a new stereo for your car. Now is the time to buckle down and we all can get through this by making smart decisions with your money at this point in time for you and your family. So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. I wanted to bring everybody this information. I want you to see what was going on. I want you to be aware so that you will be prepared when the time comes. So until next time, folks, you all stay safe. You keep prepping. Do everything you can. Make those smart decisions. And I'll catch you on the flip side.